Hi everyone, coming on to do a video and it is part of a blog hop stroke vlog hop um, for Team Scrimpy. We all got together and decided we were going to celebrate the new catalogue launch and this is our way of doing it. So, I have chosen to use the new stamp set called Timeless Tulips. Now, we have had a tulips one, I think it was two years ago, and it was tranquil tulips, and it was beautiful. But this one has got a punch with it. And we all love punches because it just makes our life so much easier. Um, so, this is the set I'm going to use, and it's going to be similar to this card. I kind of went a bit OTT with layers in this one. The colours I used on this one is Pear Pizzazz and Highland Tether and the new one that we're going to do today is going to be Lovely Lipstick and Granny Apple Green. So really vibrant, really bright um, and just have it similar to what we've got here. I will be making a few changes um, I eat not as many flowers, I don't think, because it's just a bit busy. But we'll see. And as I say, as you can see, the amount of layers we've got there. I've got stamped onto the card base, a layer up, stamped on the card base, layered up, half a layer, stamped on the cardstock, a layer, half a layer, just loads of layers so that you really get that dimension on the card. I really wanted to get that. But let's get cracking. So I have got an A6 card base. I have got a matte layer and a lovely lipstick, which is 14.2 by 10. Then we have got 13.8 by 9.5. Okay, and I'm going to stamp directly on this. Itchy nose, not good. Right, so I have used the stem. And this is the kind of straight one. Okay. I need a bigger desk. I seem to be... Or is that the straight? Yeah, it is the straight one I've picked up. That's okay. Right, so I'm going in with the Granny Apple Green. Okay, and I'm just going to put a couple on here. So let me just put one there and come in right off the page. So that's not even going to show any flower on it. Then we'll have one here. Then I want one stamped off and bring that in here. Whoops, got to be line there. That's okay, we can just stamp over the top of that. So let me just ink up again. And we will just pull strain right there covered it up no one knows any different okay so I'm just cleaning that off okay and then I'm going to bring in the curved one and do one or two of that okay Ugh. curved one and there's a wee bit of paper on that there we go so we are going in with our Granny Apple Green again. And this time I'm going to come in just about there. And I think I'll do another one at the other side a wee bit higher up. So if I just maybe bring it in I'll put it there. 
plenty. I'm just actually going to add a smaller one here. So much for cutting back, eh? Let me just add the extra one to that. And I want that just about there. I missed a wee bit, but that's okay because we're going to have a flower going over the top of it or a leaf or something. Right, so I have got some of these pre-stamped. The reason being is, and I will show you exactly what it is, so that when I punched them, they were lined up. So what I've done is I've actually took a template, then I placed, let me just move that so you can see what I'm saying. So I got a template, punched it, and then I placed my stamps inside that so I knew they were perfectly lined up. Then I placed my block over it to lift them. Okay. And then as I inked them up, it is a bit of a chore, but it does make it a lot easier. So you're having to, whoops, you have to kind of watch what you're doing and ink up gently so you don't hit your leaf. Okay, and then do the exact same, but the opposite way around. So we are going to be doing the leaf, but try not to hit the flower. And if you hit them, wipe it off and start again. That's okay. All right. So then all you're doing is just taking it down, stamping it out, lovely, and then I do a second generation one, okay, and that's it. So what I'm going to do is just wipe these off. Now, your lovely lipstick will stain, don't worry about it, it is absolutely fine, it's clean, it's sorted. Won't transfer ink, it's just that colour stains. Right, so I want, let me think, let me do this first to see. I think I've got enough flowers, so let me just close over this ink pad because I'm covered in it. It never fails me. It's always the red ones. I can work with black all day and I rarely get any ink on me. minute I touch a red ink, it's like I have massacred someone. Right, so to punch these out, really simple. Line it up. And because we have measured our stamp as we were putting it on, it should come out perfectly. Should be an operative word, mind you. I think that's about as close as I'm going to get. So just punch that out and you get your leaf and your tulip. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same with these ones. And it's actually not as perfect as I would have liked. But hey ho, I'm going to try and make sure that my leaf is fine and I can fussy cut around the tulip if I need to. Okay, so. Morning, I'm filming. So we will just chop across there. Like so. 
and then do the same with these ones. So I am basically making sure that my leaves perfect and the tulip I can fix if I have to. It isn't actually that badly lined up I'll say. It's just me being pedantic if I'm honest. Come on, behave. It's actually easier with a darker colour for me. Like so. And then there. Like that. There we go. They're all popped out and that is ready for the bin. So, what I want is to add, let me see, I'm going to add some floral onto the card base, just so that I've got something to build up onto, and for some reason I have got yucky inky bits at the bottom of my ink pad. Right, so... And I'm going to stamp these off because I don't... Look, I'm already covered in these. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to stamp these off because I don't want them as dark. And let me do this one first. Then I want that one just there. This stamp is beautiful. It really is. I'm going to put that kind of that way. Because this one at the back, I'm not actually building up. It's only going to be a couple of them that I'm going to build up on. And let me just put that one down. A nice dark one. Then we'll have a wee light one. Just about there. And what I'm going to do is actually bring one in, but kind of have it just, let me see, about there. Just enough that you can see that there is something there, but it's not going to overtake. And I've got six cut out. I think I will do another one or two um, flowers just to be in the safe side. So that's one. And two. That should be plenty. Right, get rid of these ink pads before I end up really, really covered. Right, so that's going up there, and I will be using that for my sentiment. Oh, right. So, let me pop these two out. Just pop it in there. Line it up, and they are really easy to line up. And out it comes. Same again, pop it in, and out it comes. Now, a wee trick that I learned doing it, and I'll show you where. Let me see. Mm. 
I just try and grab a scrap. There we go. A little scrap. And I just use paper as well because it's sitting there. Ink this up. And I'm just going to show you a wee trick for layering the tulip. So, if you punch this out, okay, what you can do is go back in. I'll just chop a bit of this off. Um, a little bit of wash tape. On the back, let me just put it right over. Oops, there's there. What you can do is go back in to where the leaf is and actually just chop off one side of your tulip, like so. And I'll just layer it up on another one but you'll get the idea and then you have got a bit of dimension to your other tulip rather than having to fussy cut so it's just to let you know that you can do that okay right get that out of the way because we're not using that right these leaves i'm not going to use because i think they were just a bit busy Right, so let's get. Oh, I've got a big yucky mark on that now. Well, it's just need to do. We'll just put something on that. I think. So let's get started. So we want to layer. So I am going to just chop a few of these down. Right. I do actually have some full ones here still, but I know I will run out. So I'm going to put three on this. Right, so that one's going to come down here, okay. Then I want my wee leaf. Let me just get that on. Like so. Then I want to add... A little bit of one so that can go on there as a layer and then this little bit here can go over that part so let me just trim that down so I'm coming in here and just chopping that down that can go on that side now I'm just trimming off that extra white there Just because there's a wee bit extra of it. That's fine. I'll just straighten it up a wee bit like that. And we will add a couple of little bits of dimension onto it. So, two there. This hand isn't very good today again. Um, I am just making do. But I think you will be excited with the new catalogue. There is a lot of florals in it. I absolutely love florals. 
Um, but it's it's new, it's exciting. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess that we've got here, like so. Then we have got this one here, the one here. I think we'll go with another lightish pink up there. Let me just grab that one and another wee bit for that. So that's been on there like so and then we want this that pink one and I think I'll go over I'll go under and over so I'm going to go under that one and over this one so I need a little bit of dimensional for the bottom part and then the top part I can just secure with some Tombow so let me just lift that a little bit it's too much dimensional on this side let me just uh, take that part off them, and I'll just stick to that side I was trying to think there what side I was on. Brain damage today. Right, so we're going under there. Let me just line it up where I want it. Before I press down. That's it. And I will just add a little bit of Tombow under here. Just to secure it. Okay. Then I want to add this dimension to my first one here. So I just grab a little bit of dimensional and I'm going to just curve the tulip just a little bit. Like so. Okay, then we just need to add another couple of wee florals on, eh, leaves on, because I don't know if I want that one there or not, will I? I think I will. So I need to pick that up a wee bit. And stick some underneath that so just one there one there so that's going to come underneath line up where it should And there, put it the other way, it's easier because then I can see where it's meant to be. That's it. Yeah, I like that. And then that gives this a wee bit of body as well. Right. Then we want another couple of leaves thrown in. Yep. So let me just grab a little dimensional. And 
that's going to come in just there. Then we'll have another one coming in from here. Because we'll have it up a bit. I'll have it down there. Like so. Now we've got another wee white one. Coming in about here, I think. Or will we turn it? So it's got a different shape. Yeah, and then we'll call it a day, I think, with leaves. But I think I might need to add one or two over there. But I think I'll use glue just so that they're there, but they're not popped up. Right, so I want to add it that way. Right, so just going to add a couple here with glue like so I need to call you show me the book what? I need to call you show me the book what is it you know? Do they have any more leaves? I should have had one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, so that one can come just underneath there, I think. And that'll just be getting glued in as well. In fact, I'll do it that way. Just for a bit of difference. Let me just tuck it under. Like so. Right, so that's that part done. Then I used the new um, crinkle seam binding ribbon. It's absolutely gorgeous. And just to make sure it stays in place, I'm just lining up there. Get a bit of washi. I've got washi tape plastered everywhere because I use it for just about everything. So I wrapped it round I think three times last time. I think I'm just going to do it twice. So let me just... I just want it roughly level. It doesn't have to be perfect. Oops. There we go, so that's that. Keep this side here because that's my open side. And then I'm going to wrap this one round. Okay. And then just tie a bow. Let me just chop the excess off. Oops, these scissors are not the greatest for ribbon. So I'll just. My hands are really, really bad today. Right, so we are just making a quick bow. Nothing fancy, because I don't do fancy. That <laughs> bow. Come on, you. There you go. That's it. So just... Play around with that until I'm happy. That'll 
perfectly fine. I'm not going to be overly fussed with it. Make sure that the tails are down and the bows are up. As I said, not overly fussy. Let me just cut these tails off properly with decent scissors. Slips are great for paper and if you use them correctly, they are good for ribbon too. But unfortunately, mine have been abused a little bit recently. So we have got that and I have got another smudge of pink on here. But I'm not redoing it, sorry. Right, then we are going to layer that on to our level lipstick backing and I'm just using Tombow for that. So just going over the ribbon, make sure that that's got a wee bit as well. That will help it hold in place. Line it up. I don't know why I ended up with a bit of glue there, but hey ho. Slide that over a little bit. Perfect. Clear all this drama away. Get that layered up on there. Again, just doing it with Tombow. Sure it's nice and even. Not too bad. Right. Then we need a wee sentiment. So for that one I used hello. I think I'm going to go with happy birthday on this one. Or rather. Happy Mother's Day. Let's go with that. Happy Mother's Day. So let's take that off. Give my block a wee clean because it's got everything on it. Lift up my sentiment. Grab a scrap of white. So that's going to be wide enough. Yep. And what am I going to stamp it with? Let's go level lipstick. Might as well stain everything, eh? So let's ink it up. Perfect. Let's hope I get it straight. Brilliant. Open that off. And then we just need to chop it and put it on. Get rid of that. Oh, it is quite a long process. It is a dimensional card it's not just a wee easy card now I'm leaving a little bit of space on there because I'm going to layer this onto a piece of um lovely lipstick just a tiny little slither up and above it So let me just grab that. Just 
And honestly, it is literally a tiny little sliver I want around it. And I can trim that out. So I am just pulling that back slightly. About there. Yeah, it's fine. Pull that back slightly. And perfect. And I want that, oops, just along the bottom here. Like that. And I am just going to cut this a little leaf off a little bit. It's just annoying me too much. So that's going to go there. I want to make sure that I can still see the the stems at the bottom though. Alright, so that's just getting glued on. And as I said, I want to make sure that I can see those stems at the bottom just enough. So then for finishing touches, I am going to add just a couple of gemstones, little rhinestones, just to give it a finished effect. And I have got stamps everywhere. That's because I have just been playing away today. Oops. Not really too fussed about anything. Just having fun. There's three there. I am going to add one up where I put a big ugly smoosh just so that it kind of diverts the attention away from it. I'm going to add one here and one there. And then just to make sure that I've got an odd number, one there. And that's it. That is my card for my Scrimpy's Block Hop. And that was the original one. So I do, I quite like them. I think they're fun. They're dimensional. They're going to give you a bit of happiness. I would be happy to receive that in the mail. Um, I mean, you could add your Wink of Stella if you wanted. Um, it's just pretty. So... Thank you for watching if you've stayed this long. <laughs> um, it's just some ideas with a new stamp set. That's all. There's nothing worse than not having any ideas on how to play with something. So hopefully this will give you some inspiration. Um, there will be photographs over my blog so that you're not seeing all this mess near it. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.